Ciao a tutti! Hello everyone! Welcome to Fly High, where you're gonna be flying high in language learning with me, Francesca. Are you guys ready for a new episode? Curious about Italian verbs? And what about irregular verbs? In this lesson, we're gonna be looking at six of the most popular irregular verbs in Italian, learn how to conjugate them, and see some practical examples in everyday usage. As the title says, this is part one, so for part two, there's gonna be more verbs to follow. Let's explore it together. So i verbi irregolari più comuni al presente, part one. Most popular Italian irregular verbs in the present tense. Verbi irregolari, irregular verbs. Let's start with fare. Fare is to do, to make. Io faccio, io faccio, I do, make. Tu fai, tu fai, you do, you make. Lui fa, lui fa, he does, he makes, lei fa, lei fa, she does, or she makes, noi facciamo, noi facciamo, we do, make, voi fate, voi Fate, you do, you make. Loro fanno, loro fanno, they do, they make. So you see the conjugation still follows the pattern of a verb in are, because you see fare is technically a verb in are, but um, it's all like quite irregular in terms of the actual root hmm, that changes. Um, so you have to sort of really like memorize it. And then the more practice uh, you do, then, you know, it's going to become very, uh, very automatic uh, to basically use it in a uh, context. So this is to do, to make. And let's see a few examples here. Cosa fai questo weekend? What are you doing this weekend? Cosa fai questo weekend? Faccio una passeggiata in campagna. I'm doing a walk in the countryside. Faccio una passeggiata in campagna. Passeggiata is a walk e campagna is a countryside. Mia nonna fa la torta tutti i sabati. My grandma makes cake every Saturday. Mia nonna fa la torta tutti i sabati. Tutti i sabati means every Saturday. Nel pomeriggio Facciamo i compiti. Nel pomeriggio facciamo i compiti. We do our homework in the afternoon. Voi fate sempre quello che volete. You always do what you want. Voi fate sempre quello che volete. In this case I'm using, did you see the, all the other examples when there was a, was supposed to be a, a personal subject pronoun. I, we're not indicating them, we're taking them out as you guys know. Uh, but in this case, I want to stress that you guys, you always do what you want. So, voi fate sempre quello che volete. Number six. I miei amici mi fanno ridere. I miei amici mi fanno ridere. My friends make me laugh. Then we have dare. Dare is to give. So, we have io do. Io do. I give. To die, to die, you give. Lui da, lui da, he's got an accent, he gives. Lei da, lei da, she gives. Noi diamo, noi diamo, we give. Voi date. Voi date, 
you give. Loro danno. Loro danno. They give. Examples. Ti do un bacio. I give you a kiss. Ti do un bacio. Number two. Ma tu dai numeri. Ma tu dai numeri. You're going crazy. It literally means you give the numbers. You give the numbers, which is like actually quite funny if you say if you translate it. Ma tu dai numeri. You're going crazy. Anna dà una mano a sua mamma. Anna dà una mano a sua mamma. Anna gives a hand to her mom. So when you say, just like in English really, helping someone, you can also say dare una mano. Four, diamo una festa questo sabato. Diamo una festa questo sabato. We are giving a party this Saturday. Dare una festa, to give a party. Five, mi date un po' di spazio per favore? Mi date un po' di spazio, per favore? Will you give me some space, please? Mi da, dare, dare spazio. So, you see, this is more like all in... Uh, I thought to put in some sentences that could also show you uh, the many contexts where uh, these verbs are used. A little bit more like figurative speech. And then number six. I rumori mi danno fastidio. I rumori mi danno fastidio. Noises annoy or bother me. So, literally, it uh, translates as noises give me annoyance. That's what, this is what fastidio means. Third verb for today, andare. Andare, to go. This is really, really a uh, basic verb. Io vado. Io vado. I go. Tu vai. Tu vai. You go, lui va, lui va, he goes, lei va, lei va, she goes, noi andiamo, noi andiamo, we go, voi andate, voi andate, you go, loro vanno, loro vanno, they go. Examples. Dove vai? Where are you going? Where do you go? Where are you going? Dove vai? Vado al cinema. I go to the cinema. Vado al cinema. Free. James va al lavoro tutti i giorni. James goes to work every day. James va a lavoro tutti i giorni. 4. Andiamo a dormire presto. Andiamo a dormire presto. We go to sleep early. 5. Andate a quel paese. Andate a quel paese. Means go to hell. Get lost. Go to that town. Literally. Who knows what town. So, go to that town, andate a quel paese. When you say like, someone, andare a quel paese, andare a quel paese is the, uh, really like go, mm, sending someone to hell. And then, uh, six, i miei cugini vanno a scuola. I miei cugini vanno a scuola. My cousins go to school. So, yeah. Let's see now, venire, to come. Io vengo, io vengo, I come, tu vieni, tu vieni, you come, lui viene, lui viene, he comes, lei viene, lei viene, she comes, noi veniamo, noi veniamo, We come, voi venite, voi venite, you come, loro vengono, loro vengono, they come. A few examples here, da dove vieni? Where do you come from? Da dove vieni? Vengo da Milano, 
Vengo da Milano. I come from Milan. La mia amica viene dalla Francia. La mia amica viene dalla Francia. My friend comes from France. For veniamo a prendervi nel pomeriggio. Veniamo a prendervi nel pomeriggio. We come and pick you up in the afternoon. Venire a prendere. Venire a prendere means to come and pick up. Non venite mai a trovarmi. Non venite mai a trovarmi. You never come to visit me. To see me. Hmm? Non venite mai a trovarmi. And six. Non tutti i mali vengono per nuocere. Non tutti i mali vengono per nuocere. So not all bad things come to do harm, which is the um, literal translation of this, and in English the, the expression is every cloud has silver lining, which is like a beautiful English expression, really like, like this one. So non tutti i mali vengono per nuocere. Not all bad things come to do harm. And we got uscire. Uscire is to go out. Io esco. Io esco. I go out. Tu esci. Tu esci. You go out. Lui esce. Lui esce. He goes out. Lei esce. Lei esce. She goes out. Noi usciamo. Noi usciamo, we go out. Voi uscite, voi uscite, you go out. E loro escono, loro escono, they go out. Some examples here. Esco tardi la mattina, I go out late in the morning. Esci stasera, esci stasera. Are you going out tonight? Free. Mio fratello esce di casa. Mio fratello esce di casa. My brother gets out or leaves the house. Four. Usciamo con degli amici. Usciamo con degli amici. We go out with some friends. Five. Non uscite quando piove. Non uscite quando piove. Don't go out when it rains. And six, i miei nonni escono per una passeggiata. I miei nonni escono per una passeggiata. My grandparents go out for a walk. And last verb for today is to drink. Bere. Bere. We have uh, io bevo. Io bevo. I drink. Tu bevi, tu bevi, you drink, lui beve, lui beve, he drinks, lei beve, lei beve, she drinks, noi beviamo, noi beviamo, we drink, voi bevete, voi bevete, you drink, e loro bevono, loro bevono, they drink. Examples here. Bevo il tè tutte le mattine. I drink tea every morning. Bevo il tè tutte le mattine. Number two. Tu bevi tanta acqua. Tu bevi tanta acqua. So I put in brackets here. It depends as well how we read the sentence. If we are stressing the tu, like this person drinks a lot of water, you're going to go like tu bevi tanta acqua. If you say just simply bevi tanta acqua, it's just a matter of fact. You drink a lot of water. Number three. Mia mamma non beve la Coca-Cola. Mia mamma non beve la Coca-Cola. My mom doesn't drink Coke. Beviamo un po' di vino rosso. Beviamo un po' di vino rosso. Let's drink some red wine. Hmm? Bevete tè o caffè? Bevete tè o caffè? Do you drink tea or coffee? Quei due bevono come una spugna. 
quei due bevono come una spugna. Those two drink like a fish. And literally translate as those two drink like a sponge. Yeah, they can absorb a lot of, uh, a lot of drink. And it generally refers to alcoholic beverages. And yes, so this concludes the lesson. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. Thank you again so much for watching. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next episode. Ciao ciao!